Hi, it's Mary. I hope that you are doing well. First, I want to thank you so much for joining me here today to create. I love projects where I can just decide I want to create something and then do it. I don't need to worry about getting any special materials or equipment. I can just use what I have around the house and create. Today's project is like that. We are going to create from words and images, from magazine pages. More specifically, from folded magazine pages. So you can use magazine paper or wrapping paper or newspaper or whatever kind of paper you have around your house. I just had a magazine that I had bought and then read. I thought it'd be fun to create with it. So that's what we're doing today. We'll need magazine pages, and we'll just take them out of the magazine and fold them. You'll need some kind of glue. I have a hot glue gun. It's actually better if you can just use either super glue or regular school PVA glue. You could try a glue stick, any glue that works for you. I'm using the glue gun because it's fast and will get done in the time I have here. You might also use binder clips or paper clips to hold the paper in place while you are gluing it. You want to lay down newspaper or some other work surface. I have just a piece of cardboard that I can work on. So we are using folded paper and I have just folded it into about one centimeter. So what I did was I ripped the cover off and the back. And then I just grab the page and tear slowly just to get all the pages out without ripping them. If you come to a thicker piece or an ad or one of those cards to mail in, you can just Take those out and keep ripping your pages. So when all the pages were removed, I just fold them all one at a time. So there's going to be a rough edge. I fold that inward and then I just keep folding. The width of my folded paper is about 7 eighths of an inch or one centimeter. If you fold them and they open on you, you can just put them in a binder clip or a paper clip while you're folding. Another option is just to use something to make sure you're getting a really good crease. So you can run a ruler over the edge, or you can run a pen, or your nail, or anything, just to make sure you're getting a good crease there, and your paper isn't unfolding. So you're going to continue to you get all your pages folded. As you're folding, if you see a color that you like, that you'd like to see, on your project, you can set that aside so that you can use it at a place where it will be seen. When you have a good pile of folded paper, the fun begins. So what we're going to do is just roll this up. I'm just taking and rolling it and you might want to put a drop of glue near the middle when you start. If you do use a glue gun, be very careful. It's so easy to accidentally burn yourself. I use the glue sparingly. So I just get to a point where it's going together pretty well. And I just add another drop of the glue. So you don't need the whole thing smothered in glue. If you can keep it from 
parting, like mine is starting to come apart down there. So if you can keep an eye out for that, fold that in so you don't have that happening. That's even better. Since I'm getting near the end, I'm just gonna add more glue. And the smudge, I'll add a little bit of glue there at the bottom to hold it in place. So now, at this point, you might need to hold it a little. You might not. It all depends on how it's going for you. At this point, I just add a drop of glue there and add on another piece of paper. I like to make sure that my open edge, like that, is all facing the same way. So I like it in and upward as I'm rolling. I also use the tabletop to keep all the, to keep the bottom flat, that is going to be my good side, or the side that people see or I use. We are going to keep adding pages to, oh, there, that's what it looks like on the top right now. We're going to keep adding papers and I am going to go to a certain point and I'll be right back. So I have gotten this far. And in fact, I put a piece of tape on there just to hold that. And from the tape, I know that's where I left off. I'm making a bowl today. So I'm going to use this other bowl as my form. So I have created this so far. If you wanted, you could stop at this point and just use that as a coaster. I want a bowl, so I'm gonna go add more papers. I'm at the point where the diameter of the base of my bowl is as wide as I want it to be. So I'm going to start building the sides of the bowl. So to do that, I'm going to just come up a little, and instead of going at the same level I was going at, I'm going to start building my sides. So up until this point, I have basically been able to bring one sheet around, like one piece of my folded paper has come all the way around. And we're getting to the point where that's not going to happen anymore. So I want to make sure that I get a little dab of glue there and start on my next one. And this one, I'm gonna tip a little so it starts moving up and the side of my bowl is moving upwards. So I really am building the edges of my bowl right now. And what you could do if you have another bowl, like I do here, you could use this as your template and just keep the shape 
of the bowl the way you want it and just make sure that you are going to follow that bowl and end up with that shape. I think I am going to go freehand here. And if you get pieces that stick up a little on top, don't worry about it too much. You can always correct for that. I'm gonna add a little more glue there. And we are going to keep going. So, going to get glue there so it keeps, so it holds where I was. Now this is a place where the hot glue is helping because it works fast, but if I had school glue instead, I could just clip it. and have that hold in place. So I am going to continue building up my sides here and I'll be back. Gluing more of my edge here. And I'm going around so that it's moving up taller. If I need to, I can go back and widen it by just adding another row right on the outside, even with this. bit that tape to hold that in place while I'm gluing more down here. So it can get a little wonky but just keep in mind that you can go back and fix that. And there we go. At this point, I, will, I want to build it outward, outward a little more, so I'm going to just go over what I just did, and that will add a little more width to it. And then that way, the bowls start to move outwards more. So I've got this flap. I'm just going to get scissors and cut that off. And if yours, if yours does that where you get the glue, you get the piece of paper on there and it's holding and then the glue kind of lets go, you can put a binder clip on there. That'll hold it, keep it secure while you add more. And if it ends up getting a little wonky, you can always straighten that out. It's actually kind of getting cute now. All right, so the plan now is to keep adding more to the bowl, and I'll check back with you when we've finished. So I've got a couple of finished product projects here. I made that bowl. And this coaster. So the bowl, and this bowl was getting a little wonky as I was making it, and so I just adjusted the strips to make it a little straighter. 
The coaster is going to be fabulous for my drinks. And there are definitely imperfections in here, but I really don't mind the imperfections and I kind of like having the imperfections. That's part of what I like about crafting and making my own things. So I hope that you enjoyed our project today. Creating with words and images where we made the bowl and the coaster. And if you wanted when you were making that, you could actually use the same process you were using for the coaster. Go a little larger and make a lid for the top of the bowl. Thanks for joining me today to create. I hope that you continue to use your creativity to improve the world. And I hope that you try this project. It is fun and it's easy to do with the materials that you have around your house. And thank you.